Because it's the new year, I wanted to do a giveaway. So I am teaming up with my homie Soul Advantage. He's just starting off, he's a good guy, and he has big, big plans ahead of him. And so you don't wanna miss out on him and his journey and what he's gonna do. And so we're teaming up together to do a giveaway. And so what we're gonna do is kind of similar in the fashion that we've done before. It's a $300 sneaker giveaway, but the only thing is that we're not doing it on YouTube. So I'm promoting it on YouTube, but it's gonna be strictly on Instagram. And so the rules are gonna be pretty much, you have to follow me and Soul Advantage. You gotta like the post and you gotta comment tag three friends and the shoe that you want. And if you want an additional entry, you have to share the post in your story and tag me and Soul Advantage in that post because if we don't see it and we don't get tagged in it, we're not gonna count it. So we're gonna need you to tag us in it. But it's pretty much any shoe you want, $300, any shoe you want. There's a lot of shoes out there that are $300 or under. And even if you want something that's over $300, we can help pay towards that and then you just cover the rest. This is worldwide. This is every, like anyone who wants to enter can win. Uh, the only thing is if you are across, if you're not in the United States, you will have to pay customs fee because we can't go around that. And we know that there's ways to get around it. But like if we're doing that, we're probably going to buy the shoes through Goat or something like that. And they do charge those fees. So just keep that in mind when and if you guys win who are international. So just uh, make sure to uh, click the link in the bio down below. It's going to lead you to our Instagram pages and it's going to tell you guys all about the giveaway. So don't miss out on that. All right. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the beginning of the vlog. Uh, we are starting this with the package, not uh, a sneaker pack. I don't know what's in it. Uh, my wife, Sabrina, she got it for me for my birthday. She said it was something small, but we'll see. It came late. My birthday was like two, three weeks ago. So um, it's here. And I don't know about you. I don't like opening gifts in front of people, but we decided to open it in front of all of you guys too. So let's just get into it. Feels like <laughs> I think I know what it is. Should I guess? Sure. I think it's like sl house slippers, but they're probably going to be like a Jordan One house slipper. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I called it. All right, guys, we gotta do an on foot review of these. Are they just one size? Yep. Because they don't fit me. They don't? <laughs> no. What? My toe's gonna like bust out of here. They said one size fits all. <laughs> no way. These probably fit you. No. <laughs> but there you go, fans. <laughs> I didn't know it was sneaker related, but we do have a. I just felt it. When I felt it, I felt like, oh, fuzzy. And then I felt the bottoms like, oh, these are these are like booties. And then I, I felt like the corner and I felt the wing logo. And that's how I knew. So thank you still. I, I appreciate the thought. But let's go ahead and get to the rest of the vlog. All right, we got some packages. You got to cut open. So let's just get into it. Some of these are sneaker related and some of these aren't. All right, first thing we got is this air purifier, which is a lot bigger than I thought. And look who's home. That's why you left me. <laughs> so uh, we just got this. Um, thank you, dad. Shout out to my dad for getting this for our birthday slash Christmas gift because these things ain't cheap, but we need it because why, why do we need an air purifier? Oh. <laughs> All right, so we do have two more packages I want to open up for us. It's going to open that last. Come on, rip it. No. Isn't there a perforated line? Oh, jeez. Woman's strength. Never so. tell me no. Oh. All right, so what do we have here? It's a box. It's a box. What's in the box? Can you tell me what this says? Um... <laughs> yes, I can actually look. It's <laughs> wait, 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 wait. it says power on touch any keys. Wow. Wow. 
I didn't know you could read that. Mary Chrysler. <laughs> All right, as she opens this up. Uh, and so this is a, oh my gosh, what happened to your strength? All right, so, oh, it's shiny. Shiny. Make it look shiny. All right. All right. So what we have here is a very basic um, revolving display. So I'm going to put the shoes on top of there. And so instead of me like going like this to go around the shoe, this machine does it for me. So, and we will show you how it works right after this. All right, this is like the last thing that was in the box. I don't know why the quality of my phone is just so trash right now, but it says Amazon Basics right there. So, you can make this yourself. I mean, it, it does take time, but you could just buy this pre packaged. So, this was $140 on Amazon, and I just thought it'd be easier to buy this and store it rather than making my own. I, I figured it out, I assembled it. So it's a big old box that you use to take photos. So you put a shoe in here and you're like, boom, take a photo and move them however you want. Take a photo, it's got an all white background. So plus with the turntable, so I'll show you guys what that looks like right now. All right, and here it is, man. 360 tutorial i mean these definitely aren't like the best shoes to do this with but it's still cool and yeah like so this is pretty much what i'm going to be doing now for uh when i post on instagram i, I want to stand out but i also want to be unique and just have a cool way to display shoes so i think this is a cool way um this is what i spent my my christmas gifts on so this is like like, see guys, like that, that's part of the reselling game too. Like you don't always like, just because it's your birthday or because it's Christmas or because you're getting gifts, like it's not all just for you. Like, I mean, this does make me happy because it's like my ideas that I want to come and, and do with and I got to do it for free because it was a gift. Um, but like, it's not about, oh, like it's a gift for me. So I need to buy some shoes. Like sometimes about reselling and being in this business is all about reinvesting your money into your business. It means saying no to the things that you want so that you can start creating and having a business that, that you need to have. So thank you to everyone. Thank you to my dad for the air purifier. Thank you to my mom, to Isaac, to Minje, your, your guys' Amazon, um, gift cards came in handy. So this is what I did with some of my gifts. And so as you get to see, like this is, this is the result of it. So yeah, so we do have a couple things I need to ship out. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over to that. Like I said, we have a bunch of stuff going out. So one of the first pairs I already had packed up, but it's a pair of boom, Jordan 12 lows. So we uh, got these in that big bundle deal uh, when I cashed out that guy's collection. So I sold these, I think I sold them for about 135 shipped. So I'll be making 50 bucks off this because I bought each shoe for 70 bucks, pretty much. All right, uh, we sold a pair of Game Royals. These are a size 13. I paid 200 and I sold them for 250 shipped. So I'm making about 40 bucks. And then I also sold these to the homie, uh, Andrew Ritchie. So uh, I bought these also for 200, no box, but I'm giving him some extra black laces right there. Uh, sold these also for 250 shipped. So I'm making about 40 bucks on that one. I sold these bread fours for 300 bucks shipped. And I bought them for 230, so I'm gonna be making about 50 bucks, 60, 50, 60 bucks. All right. We have a pair of Jordan 1s right here, size 11, uh, Royal Toes. So I sold those for 275 shipped. I paid 200, so I'm getting about 260 back from these. Uh, so that's $60 profit. I sold these Skylons from a mystery box that I got from Two Kicks. They are the Nike ones. These sold fast right after Jerry announced that he's going to Adidas and not making Nike shoes anymore. So these sold for two fifteen on StockX. I'm clearing about one eighty something for these. So I'm just glad that they're gone. I did sell these Sakai's. Uh, I sold them for six hundred bucks on Goat. So I got about five twenty, which is a little bit lower than I wanted. I wanted five fifty for these. But um, the guy who hit me up seemed really chill and we just talked for a little bit. So I was like, you know what? I bought it for 450, so I'm still making 70 bucks. Also sold 
these Yeezy Desert Sages. I got these for in a mystery box also. I sold them for two twenty two and fifty cents shipped. It was like it was like a middle like you know middle price like we're both at two different prices and i was like hey let's just meet in the middle so i should get about 200 210 for those and then i also sold two pairs from uh this is from the sneak city box so these ones sold for 215 shipped i'm getting these i'm getting 200 back for those after shipping and then we also sold the jordan 7 olympic so these sold for 250 Ships, so I should be getting about 240, 235 back. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm glad that those those were like the two pairs that I thought were kind of like bricks that ended up selling. So in total, we have like 10 pairs going out over the Christmas. So shout out to everyone who bought from me. Shout out to everyone who shopped with me. Thank you guys so much for making this Christmas an awesome day for sales. I'm, I'm glad that I get to provide you with some kicks and that you guys are helping my business grow so thank you uh, i know we do have a couple sneaker deals going on so let's just go ahead and see what's next picking up shoes right, cool. now, how much did you want for these ones said 100 best offer Okay. All right. Pair of 14s. Worn once. Got a pair of these nines. Pretty clean. A little bit of wear. Not bad. All right. Make some deals. <sighs> all right. Um, would you do three if I just took all of them? Woo! Just because I, I kind of don't really want these ones that Dang, much. Bro, that's a deal. 320, bro. 320? Yeah, me 320, man. That's a smoker deal. All right. I'll, I'll run 320 for these. Let me get the cash for this one, too. All right guys, so I know that was really choppy and kind of like just super random, but I did do a deal right now from OfferUp. We got some good deals. So I have a I have six pairs right here and I paid a total of oh, 700 bucks, I think for all of these. So uh, the first thing that is not really hyped is a pair of Jordan 14s. And so this is a pair of Jordan 1 mids. This is from like the Fearless pack. Uh, and then it's like the designer blue, so. These were, these are a little dirty. Like, I don't know if you can see, it's like just a little dirty right there. It's got some little dirt marks, but overall it's not terrible. And I know these dead stock are going for a decent amount, but, uh, so I bought these ones technically for a hundred bucks. We did get a pair of these nines that are actually pretty clean. Just the bottoms were dirty, but I mean, they're white on the bottom, so. And then we have these, which is in a replacement box, but, Pretty much bought these for 100 bucks, 115. I just need to unyellow the toe cap, which won't take very long. And these ones sell for about like 150, 160, I think, in a decently used condition. Like, there's just a little bit of toe toe drag right there. Uh, and then these are the two shoes that I I wanted. So we got a pair of these cool gray fours. So these have been selling for me at a decent rate of like 300 bucks, I think. So this is like a $200 profit. Last pair, which was an absolute steal, was these Jordan 4 Black Cats. So these ones were super clean. I mean, it's kind of hard to like even get these dirty. You can see that there's some wear on them. And, but overall, these are really clean. These are going for like 500 bucks dead stock. So I could sell these for like around 350 because it's still the OG box has extra laces. Everything looks good on these, so. I think I got a really good deal, and uh, I do just have to clean them up a little bit. The only downside is that they do smell like bud, like weed, and um, like I just don't like selling shoes like that. So I do try to air them out, and I do try and get rid of the smell, because that's just 
you know, not everyone smokes weed and not everyone likes the smell of their shoes smelling like smoke. I mean, I personally don't do both. I did lowball him, not gonna lie. And you guys can say it in the comments. I lowballed him, all right? I know I was getting a good deal and I still asked for a better deal. When I can, I'm gonna try and make my money, but also when I know I'm fully taking advantage of someone, like it is what it is. Sometimes you just gotta make your money, right? And he was already, he was cool with it. So as long as he's happy, I'm happy, we're all good. But go ahead, flame me in the comments. I feel like it's coming. All right, guys, Tuesday morning, we got three pairs going out real quick. So first pair, Dia de los Muertos, P, uh, grade school size. So these are going out for 130 shipped on eBay. So pretty much getting 115, which is what? Like retail back. So I just, I bought them, they didn't go up. So I'm just getting rid of them. So at least I got my money back. Uh, second pair going out is a pair of the Black Cement 3s. So I did get these in a beater box and I wanted them to go for, I valued them at 250. I sold them for 270 on eBay. So probably after shipping costs, I'll get like 255 ish on them. So that's good. And the last pair that sold, these are all super small sizes, but the last pair that sold one of my favorite shoes ever, the Sean Witherspoon Air Max 97 one. Uh, this one is a size six and it sold on goat actually. And I'll be clearing $887 after all the fees and stuff like that. And I bought them from soul steals for seven seventy five or something like that. So I'm making like 110 bucks, uh, profit on that one. But yeah, uh, we do have a couple deals today, so we're going to go ahead and get on to that. Yo, what's going on, man? You don't mind if I record again? Yeah. Yeah, you just put them down here. These aren't too bad. These are cool. These ones are the super beat, low key beat. Heel drag. Cool. Yeah, these are cool. Said these ones just had. Yeah. Not too bad. How much were you selling these ones for? Oh, that's more like 160. 160. Do you actually like to be something like that? Do you take, do you have like any like ben, Venmo or something? I don't have enough cash to cover this one, but I could send you money. I have Zelle, but. I could, and then, um, what did I say? Um, would you be down to just do all three for 260? Uh, yeah, I'd do that. All right. Yeah, that works. Yeah, just, uh, I'll give you cash and then I'll just sell you the rest. All right. Thanks, man. Oh, look at these mountains, man. They're beautiful. All right. What's going on, man? Let's look at these real quick. Yeah, uh, yeah. Get the bottom and everything. Yeah, I got you. Sure. These are pretty clean. If anything, probably just need a little scrub up on the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at this scuff right there, though. That's the other one. Where'd you get these ones from? I got two ballas. Two ballas? The one in here? Uh, I was in LA when I got them. Oh, I got you. Uh, I'm just trying to 
see this scuff right here. <laughs> my bad. I'm just gonna buy them like that then. <laughs> that's my fault. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens when you try and do things with one hand. Okay. Thank you. Cool, thanks man. You have a good day. Appreciate it. Uh, I, I was holding these, trying to look at the scuff really quick and trying to hold the camera all at the same time. And then I dropped it and so I felt bad and just gave him the price that he wanted. I was gonna go like $10 less just cause there's a scuff like right there. And it's kind of bothering me just cause they are super clean, but I do have to just fix the scuff and you know, time is money. So I wanted to, I paid him 190 for them, which is still a good deal just because, you know, lightly used pairs are going for about 240, but I could have gone for a little bit less with the scuff, I think, but that's what happened. So, hey man, let me get some likes for, for, you know, trying to record and do all this stuff uh, while handling shoes and stuff. Please let, let those $10 reflect back in the likes. So if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the like button down below. I appreciate you guys and we'll get to the next deal. Yo, what's going on, man? Mind if I check him out? Thanks, man. That scratch isn't too bad. So we just bought a pair of bread 13s for 80 bucks. It has a small scratch on it, but I think I could fix it. But it feels good. Like, I don't know if you guys could see the trunk, but it just feels good having shoes, getting deals done. That's just a bunch of fog essential stuff that I got in another shipment. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching, supporting, because honestly, like partially doing the whole YouTube thing uh, pushes me to want to go and get more content for you. So it's making me do a lot more deals which essentially is also helping me grow as a business. So just want to say thank you again to everyone watching right now. All right, so I know this isn't sneakers and this is just me talking and I want to cut it out as much as possible, but whatever, I'm gonna talk about it anyways. So I'm here at Shop at Kings, which is like a local space that I guess has just grew and grew into a spot that's finally getting like sneaker releases and stuff like that. So I just picked up a pair of band mid ones but the reason why I want to talk is because I just stretched myself, meaning like I did something that was uncomfortable. As a sneaker reseller, as a person who wants to grow in business, you're going to have to do things that are uncomfortable. Uh, so I walked in there and I look like trash. Low key, I'm wearing a hat. I'm wearing a long sleeve, a winter jacket. I'm wearing these Fila like, like silk. I don't even know what you call these. I'm wearing flip flops, low key soft, like Bro, I look like trash right now. I do not look professional. I do not look like anyone who's, you know, um, who looks like he's a businessman, right? Uh, so I walked in, looked around because my first time, it's honestly a super sick store with a lot of space. And I saw that in this corner, they have like this decent amount of space that's just kind of like a break room that I asked an employee. And it's got some, it's honestly got a lot of good space. It, it looks cool. Like it's perfect for me to like start a store. And I went in there, talked with some of the people, the owner wasn't there, but I talked with some of them and was just like, hey, like, do you know what it's for? You know, just chopping it up, whatever. And then I was just like, and then I asked the cashier, I was like, do you know the owner? Do you know if they'd be interested? And they were just like, I don't know. I mean, a lot of play, a lot of businesses have tried, so probably not. And so I was like, oh, okay. And then, so I bought the shoes, walked out, said thank you, all that stuff. And then I was just like, you know what? Like, what if, what if like word just like the 1% chance of like the word getting out and they're like, oh, I, now I wish I would talk to them. Cause I don't come here all the time. I like rarely come here. Uh, like I said, this is my first time. So luckily I had a couple business cards in my car 
and I was contemplating like, do I go back? Like he already kind of said no. And I was like, do I go back? But I was like the 1% chance that they say, yeah, like you could use our spot and like rent is gonna be this. Like if it works out, like that'd be great. Cause a lot of people, a lot of locals come to this place. And I just, when I walked by, someone was like, do you guys have Supreme bag, like side bags? And they're like, no, like, cause they're not a resale shop. They're just a retailer. And so, um, yeah, man, like it, it took, honestly for me, it took a lot to go back in there and be like, hey, here's my card. Cause I'm already self-conscious about my image and everything. And like it, because it's, it's just hard for me. Okay. And like some, for some of you guys, it might be hard too, but in those little things, if you never try, if you don't take the chance, you're never going to know. And that was the only thing that was kind of telling me like, Andrew, you have to be uncomfortable. You have to stretch yourself. You have to try and do these things. So even if nothing happens and I never get contacted by them, that's totally fine. But at least I tried and that's the best I could do. So all in all, I just wanted to say that to encourage you guys, stretch yourself, be uncomfortable, do things that you're not comfortable doing because that's the only way you're gonna get better. And if you never shoot your, your shot, you're never gonna have a chance, man. So just wanna encourage you guys. And But anyways, we do have two packages that I wanna unbox. We technically got three. This one is just another essentials, another couple, couple of hoodies up in there. Uh, I just don't talk too much about essentials because it's pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't know what this box is though. So I'm kind of like, I think I know what this is. I didn't know that it was gonna get shipped already, but I never got, I got an email confirmation, but I never got a, uh, a shipping confirmation. So right here we do have a cause BFF in the packaging. So man, I like wanna keep it, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should keep it and like, Put it up for display kind of just let it let it sit somewhere but anyways this one is a birthday gift to myself christmas gift to myself boom we got a bathing ape a bape uh mouse mat so that's literally what it looks like inside uh i don't know why i got this i don't even have my own personal computer so <laughs> I bought it because I know that eventually as I upgrade with my business, I'm also going to be upgrading in life, meaning getting a house or getting just a bigger space, getting my own computer and all that. So this is kind of like, it's a gift to myself for the future self. So uh, if you guys watch Richie Lee's like video with Johnny, they did like a, you should always buy a shirt that's one size smaller if you're aiming to you know try and lose weight or something it's like something to reach a goal in and this is kind of like the same thing like i don't have a personal desktop uh i have an ipad that i use the ipad pro just because i thought it was gonna be easier uh for myself and i just don't have the money to buy an actual pc right now um and it's just it just doesn't work in our space it just take up way too much space so this is kind of like a gift for reaching those goals so once i can use this in a space where I have my own PC and my own desk set up and all that stuff. That's kind of like a goal of mine to reach. So that's why I bought it. And plus they're cheap right now, they just dropped. So I bought this one for 60 bucks. Um, and who knows, maybe they'll go up in the future. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna take all these shoes up inside and clean them. I did buy these, as you guys saw, these were, I paid like 45 bucks or 50 bucks or something for them. So I did clean the uppers, that's why they look pretty decent. Paint over any of the chips that were there. But you guys can see the yellowing, which is what makes it look so bad. But just a little, little work. And dude, they look so clean now. I mean, of course there's a little, little dirt right there, but so I treated one side, this is the side that was treated. You guys can see the other side. You can see the split right there. That's where I stopped it. Isn't that crazy? And this $50 shoe now, goes to what like 150 160 dollars shoe so and it barely took me any work so learn how to restore sneakers because there's a lot of money in that we do have a few shoes going out uh one of the first ones is a pair of women's air force ones i got this one in a mystery box and i'm only getting about like 75 bucks out of these so it's not too bad uh next thing going out is a pair of jordan one uh purple core purples the 1.0s so I essentially got this for 80 bucks after like trading and all this stuff. And I just sold them on eBay for $160 shipped. So I'm pretty much making like 60 bucks on that one. And then we do have a pair of 
these Jordan 5 3 Lab 5 infrareds. That's a mouthful. But uh, I got these also in a mystery box. I sold them for 180 ships, so that's not bad. I think all of this is profit now because I think I sold through the mystery box and got all my money back. So that's good. And then I sold a pair of essential sweatpants for $140 shipped. I'm making at least like 30, 35 bucks on that. And then the last thing is, it's actually in this big old box that I created and taped up myself. Like there's tape everywhere because I had to make it that way. But this is a pair of the Jordan, or no, it's a pair of the Nike Mars Yard Overshoe. So if you guys watched the video, uh, the mystery box video that I got this in, it was a humongous box. And so I didn't have a box that fit it. And after I already taped it up, I forgot to record it. So I'm not taking it back out of the box. <laughs> Those ones sold for $4.90 shipped. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And we're gonna go ahead and pack all this stuff up. And then we have a sneaker unboxing right now. All right, so we do have one package in from Nike. This one took honestly a while to get to me, but I'm glad I still got it because obviously we still make money off this shoe. Size 10 and a half, paper waffle, Sakai. So. Oh, there we go. All right, so my wife got lucky and she got this. I mean, technically her account got lucky. I run her account, so I'm technically running two Nike accounts, right? One for me, one for my wife. But obviously this is the one that hits for me. So this is pretty cool. I mean, I have the black pair. I bought the black pair. They're going for about 500-ish now. So they've been going up in value. So I might hold on to this one just for a little bit. I don't see any other colorways coming out for this shoe, this model yet. So... It's just a good indication that these are probably gonna go up in value. I guess that's my other sneaker tip is if you don't have, if you only have one Nike account, like you're you're limiting yourself on how much you could win. Like make one for your mom, make one for your brother, your sister, like, like try and make accounts so that way you can hit more on sneakers. So hope that's informative because I'm trying to help y'all, right? So if I'm helping you, help me back. Like the video, comment, subscribe, please. I need your help. All right, so we just listed all these and then I just, I came out here to spray them because they these were all the shoes that I kind of bought that either smelled like weed or smelled like smoke. So this is what I use. I use Febreze Air Heavy Duty two times odor elimination power. So this is what I use. This is the best thing I've found so far. I haven't tried that many places, to be honest, but uh, it is a stronger smell, but it replaces the smell of weed or smoke. So it is a very strong Febreze smell, but it does do the odor elimination. You can't just put any kind of Febreze or cologne or something because it'll just mix in the smells and it's just really gross. You have to make sure you get something that eliminates the odor. And so I found that one at Target and it's like five bucks for the bottle. And yeah. It does pretty well. I do need to do some multiple coats on some things. Um, and if if it all comes to worse, I, I stuff it with um, dryer sheets at the end just so that way I can try and get the, just get it out completely. So another sneaker tip for y'all. y'all. So we got one, two, three, four, and technically five right there. Zoom in real quick, that lows. It's actually a Soul Steel's hype box I'm gonna be unboxing, so. Um, Stay tuned for that, but I want to show you guys what I got in. So let's start small. Well, this is just Fear of God black sweatpants. So you guys don't care about that anymore. Uh, so in this first package, let's see. Perfect. So we do have a size eight and a half Jordan 1 band mid. And then in this other one, we have a size nine. Also, same shoe. Uh, anyways, we got another another one right here. So this one has, I think this one's three pairs. So we got another eight and a half Jordan 1 band. And then we got an eight Jordan 1 band. And can you guess what is next? We got a size nine in the Jordan one band. All right, so now we got that over with. 
we just have this big old box right here. Look at this heavy duty box. All right, let's go ahead and open it. Now that we got this open, let's see what we got here. So we got a five and a half. What is this? Five wide. And I mean, look at all this guy. Seven, six and a half, seven, seven. Got a six. And then we've got a whole nother row. Oh my gosh. It's five and a half, four, four and a half, six and a half, or six or whatever. And then another size six. So as you guys can see, I copped a bunch of band mid ones. And I already, and remember, I already got like, I don't know. I think that's seven pairs over there. So yeah, I bought a bunch of band mids. I just think that they're going to go up over time. So my idea was... I'd rather invest $150 to make $50 rather than investing like 300 in a pair of Royal Toes that I'm hoping that are gonna go up to 350. So it's almost like spending half the amount in order to make the same amount. So, and that way I could buy two of them. So I'm really making a hundred instead of just a 50. It's not the hypest pair of shoes. It's not like the coolest pair, but it's one that sells, it's one that moves and the bread colorway right now if you try and buy a like a regular brand new pair, they're like a thousand dollars. So I know people are gonna want these later on. So hopefully in a few months, we'll see them go up. And if you guys saw on my Instagram, I was buying a bunch. I'm no longer buying any band mids. I bought all the ones that I needed and I'm good to go. Hey guys, New Year's Eve, 2020 is about to be done. So to, I guess, kick it off, we got uh, two pairs going out. So first pair, that is going out is a pair of these Nike Undercover uh, Daybreaks. So these are dead stock, eight and a half. I sold them for, I think it was like 210 or 215 shipped. So I should be getting about $200, which I'm surprised about. And then the last pair, we only have two pairs going out for now. I'm working on a third one, trying to work out deals here, but we do have a pair of these Jordan 1 Core Purples. So these sold for 285 shipped on eBay. I paid $230 for them, so I should be making about $40 profit off of this one. And they flip pretty quick, so that's always a good thing. How long are we guys waiting? Uh, not too long. I think when I text you. What the heck is all this? So. The homie James uh, hooked it up, so we, uh, he was at the Nike town in the Grove, Grove, the Grove, right? And then they were, he, they had these fans just sitting there, so we, um, he hit me up, he knew I was looking for some, so he said retail for all of them, just because he was trying to hook up a homie, but we always got to help, we, we always got to say thank you, and so I threw him an extra $10 per pair, so I gave him 50 bucks on top, so... Appreciate that too. Yeah, yeah. So, to. And then he's also the selling me these shadows that he was supposed to bring last time, but got mixed up. So let's check them out. These ones are probably the ones that have worn the most out of all the ones I've sold too. Which is funny because these ones actually look really clean. I know. I try to keep good good care of them. I think it's just a lot of practice. I think I'm not getting that <laughs> one for it's funny though, because yeah, even used good. Jordan ones, they have a distinct smell. Unless if there's like a, like people just really use like laundry detergent super hardcore in their house or something, but used Jordan ones have a unique smell too. So, uh, do you know how much estimated? Tell me, tell me whatever is good with you. Mm -hmm. I was like anywhere between like, because what I think I'd sell them for, is anywhere between like three to three fifty. Mm -hmm. That's how much I think. But then that's what I'm saying. Like I don't know um, how much I would get. I'd probably pay you like two eighty for them. Three? Yeah, I'll take three from you. That's not bad. Yeah. Okay. At least that's what I, I think it's the 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 280. Yeah, man. So hungry. we'll see. I already sold all the other ones that oh, you got. Seriously? Yeah. Oh dang. Hey, what's going on? How are you doing? Right, nice, nice to meet you. You cool if we uh, record and stuff? The what? Oh, yeah, 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 that's no problem. What's going on, man? I mean, this man is kind of...
trying to get rid of these because they actually they're not my size first oh, okay. of all they were gifts uh -huh. and uh and the other ones i came up because i did a i did a job for somebody so oh, nice. yeah so i was like these are the yellow um, the, dunks. the dunks and these are the yellow ones and this remember that i was telling you about these yeah yeah i don't know man i mean i mean i'll take a look at them yeah if you can that would be great but um see them in hand yeah and, and they look pretty pretty decent mm -hmm. the guy did a job for this um he uh he got them from, from uh, sneakers okay he had everything he even had the other box but it had it had this like you know like, oh like the shipping box yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and these are the yeah, these I bought actually, okay. but I don't have the receipt because they were in a condom in an album. Yeah, I feel like this was like a very underrated. I know, and I have another pair, 10 and a half, which is my size. So okay. I was like, all right, you know what? I'll, I'll let them go. They'll go to a better home. <laughs> you know, somebody's gonna want them that it's their size. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me go get my black light just to look at it. Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah. Where did he say he bought these from? Uh, he said he got them from somebody. That's a trade. Uh, uh, and then uh, it just said, like, based off of the appearance, they think it's made or something like that. Yeah. This is kind of hard to see in the... Oh, okay, so take a up close look at that. So see how there's like that circle? Oh, okay. So that's like a... That's an indication. It's like a... Yeah, it's like one of the factories, like they have stamps like that. So um, that's how you... That's like the biggest giveaway with the black light because you can't see it. But when you go over it, you can see like a stamp yeah, on it. I could actually see it. Yeah, and then... Um, but our I, I would think so. Yeah, and then I don't know if you want to smell it, um, but it smells like glue, mm -hmm. like a strong smell of glue, yeah. versus like if you had to smell one of these, like it kind of that one smells more like a sneaker store yeah. kind of a thing. Yeah. You know? So that's those are like the biggest giveaways. It might be a good. Good idea to yeah, it's a good investment. Yeah. yeah, it's like 10 15 bucks on Amazon, and oh. it'll save you hundreds of dollars, you know. So, no, but I thank you for bringing them. I should yeah. have asked you before. Yeah, no, I thought about it. I said, let me see what he says, and then you know, depending on that, I'll take him to, to the other place. But now that you showed me that, that's good enough for me. Yeah, yeah, I'll so I'll just tell my brother <laughs> to just take him back. So, here's 100 and 200, all right, and then 20, 40, 50, 80, 100, and yes. then three. Sweet. All right, man. Well, it's pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Pleasure making this. Yeah, you, of man. course. Thanks, sir. Yeah. yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for being my first deal for the new year too. Oh, so. all right. Sweet. Yeah, there you go. The new year, well. So. Hey, man. Cool. Nice Thank you. Meet. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Bye. Happy, Happy New Year. But we do have a couple shoes going out today, so. First pair is a pair of these Jordan 11 IEs, which I just did a mystery box unboxing for. So these sold, and I think I'm getting like right under 200 bucks for them so it's about like 190 for those uh and then i did sell a pair on goat again for uh i think these ones are i'm getting 203 and then i'll probably get like 195 after uh getting it back into my bank account but anyways i bought these for i think i bought these for like 150 or something like that so i'm still making like 40 50 bucks off of that one and then i'm sold these for 210 these are the Jordan 4 uh, Cool Grays. I sold them a little low because there is a scuff on the toe box right there. So um, sold them for the low, 210, which is still, I think, a good deal for them. Uh, and I bought them for essentially 140. So that's what, 70 bucks profit, or I guess 60 bucks after shipping. And the last shoe I sold, if I can open this box, uh, is a pair of these uh, Easy. 700 mauve wave runner type shoes i guess wave runner is really only the colorway so this is the yeezy 700 mauve so these sold for i think 
think it was like three three fifteen shipped or something. I'm getting like three hundred bucks out of these. So got these also in a mystery box. So I'm glad that all of these sold. And yeah, uh, we do have another deal going on um, today. So make sure to stay tuned. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, man. Big fan, bro. Yeah, love the content. Thank you. Go ahead. Uh, check them out. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> like your video too. Like you can just stare at them and just talk about them. And yeah, like the the quality on them. Like yeah, you could just feel it right off the bat. Yeah, you love these, huh? Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, I do like these. All-time grails. One of my all-time grails, yeah. Like, I used to, when these came out, I used to work at Foot Locker at the time. Okay. And, um, but, like, yeah, when these came out, when I seen the pictures of these, like, oh, my God, dude, it was so, <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, Even when, better in person, too. I know, when I unboxed them, I was like, wait, this can't be it. <laughs> it's like, so that's why I was like. Is this really what I think it is? Dude, yeah, when I seen your video too, I was like, really? Like, cause he's like, you'll see like Travis's, you'll see, you know, Yeezy's in a mystery box or whatever, but you never really see bands or anything like that yeah. ever, like in any videos. <laughs> and uh, yeah, like these are, uh, yeah, these are really, really nice. Yeah, and they're still, I think they're in really good condition. Oh, they are, yeah, yeah. really great condition. So they're like white. Yeah, like they're really good yeah man thanks for working out the deal don't forget the oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> the essential part of it but. right yeah no thank you man thank you for working out the deal with me too appreciate it yeah i know i'm like i'd rather have those go to a good home because like because that's like the weird thing like i'm not just like a sneaker reseller like you know I'm, i grew up more as a collector and right. switched over and so like i'm more of like well i want shoes to go to a good home mm -hmm. and after you hit me up like uh i'd rather take like this stuff because like i said i can't fit those I know you want them so yeah no, these up. are yeah these are gonna just be on my shelf like these are one of my trophies for real <laughs> nice. Dang, man awesome but yeah thank you man appreciate it yeah of course appreciate you man, those are nice oh yeah so, i haven't seen those in a long time yeah these are from uh 2003 yeah so, those are sweet <laughs> yeah just found them one day uh just going through ebay and stuff like yeah? that so yeah well here they are yeah um so everything I bought it myself except for the breads. Okay. But I did check them on Check Check. And they okay, came, they came, came out fine. there. I don't know if you want the link, I could send it to you. But if you want to check them, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, it was just like pairs you bought like a Yeah, they were while extra. Ago. And yeah. the pants I got, actually, my brother went with me and they didn't have any more 10 and a half, so. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. 10 and a half, right. Yeah, I bought a, a bunch of these ones. Oh, did you? Yeah, so for sure. Those are like... The light smoke gray. Yeah, those. Yeah, a lot of people really like this too. Yeah. So... Cool. Alright guys, so just to recap what happened, um, so the first pair was the Bin 523s, which I got in a mystery box, and so I was selling them for 800 bucks, which I think was honestly a pretty fair price for the condition that it was in. I've seen worse pairs sell for a little bit more or right around the same price. And so uh, this guy hit me up on Instagram, said he'd watched the video, it says Grail Shoe, and he wants to work out a deal, so I was like, bet, let's do it, right? And so he... Um, he gave me a pair of Deadstock bread Yeezys, and uh, these are going for about 400 bucks on right now. And then he gave me a pair of Hennessy Dunks, which honestly are super sick, and he like wore them like once. And these are going for about 200 bucks, so that's 600 bucks total. And then he gave me these uh, Jordan One Low Shatter Backboards, and these go for probably right around 150, I would say. So he was at 750. And I told him to add a hundred bucks because uh, in trades, I try and get more value out of it because I'm trading my shoe 
and I'm trying to get, and I'm trading it for three pairs of shoes, which is going to take more work for me to sell. So in total, it's an $850 value that he gave me, which uh, I still think is pretty fair, honestly, for that shoe because it was super, super clean. So shout out to you. I hope you enjoy the grails. I hope you're still watching. The other deal that I just did, so Rob is a good guy. He watched my videos, hit me up, and he gave me uh, a couple of Jordan 1 mids that he wanted to sell. So I picked up a pair of these uh, Jordan 1 mid gray, light, light smoke grays. So these are a size 10, I believe, and they're dead stock. So dead stock pairs are going for about 290. I paid, I think, about 240. 40 for them and then i gave him oh and then also a pair of these chicago white toe mids which honestly do pretty well too i think they're going for about 180 or something i think i gave him 150 for it and then lastly he gave me also a pair of jordan one band mids i told him like because these only flip for like 20 30 dollars profit which is kind of like what i would want to get out of them so I pretty much just gave him retail back for these. So I paid $125 for them. And then lastly, the uh, he wanted to sell these to me. But these Jordan 4 uh, breads are, they're dead stock. They're a size 10. But I told him, hey, if you trust me, I'm going to, uh, you can consign these with me. If I sell them, uh, I'm taking about 10 to 15% depending on the price that it sells for and, um, you know, what I have to do for them. So he agreed he trusted me and so whenever those sell i'm going to sell him um whatever is remaining because i know that they're going for a lot and so i just don't have enough money to kind of just front all the cash for it right now um until all these other items come in and i you know got to post some other things for sale so anyways that's what happened and that's pretty much it for the week that's everything we're done all right thank you for watching thank you for all of the support and the love i appreciate you guys Thank you for joining me on this journey and uh, I hope to bring you some good content. So um, I'm going to start posting some smaller videos throughout the week just to try and help you guys for some questions that you guys have. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, subscribe, like, follow my Instagram because this is where I post everything for sale first and then it's eBay and then maybe offer up and all those other places. So it trickles down. So anyways, shout out to you guys. We'll see you. We'll see what happens. You know, who knows what's going to happen in the new month of January 2021. So stay tuned for the next episode. Peace, y'all.